here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. I can't wait to show you this Valentine's Day project that I've got for you today. So make sure you stay tuned. But before we get there, I just want to thank you guys for stopping by my channel. I so appreciate it. If this is your first time, make sure you click subscribe and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. I try to upload a video every Friday. That's why we call it Inspiration Friday. So give me a second to get my camera angle changed and I am gonna show you how to make a quick and easy candy jar for Valentine's Day. Okay, so let's get started with this project. So I wanna let you guys know what we need for the project first. So um, really, really easy. Um, I picked up a terracotta pot. Now this is a four, it was for a four inch succulent that was put in it. So it's a smaller pot. Um, I have seen the larger pots too, but I really like using this size pot. So this is gonna be the base of our project. I'll take that label off there. And then I picked up just a um, fish bowl. And you can pick these up. They've got them at Hobby Lobby. I've seen them off and on at Dollar Tree or um, any of the craft stores, okay? So that's gonna be our the next piece of our project. And then you need the bottom part of the terracotta part. Now, sometimes you can buy these together. Um, I wasn't that lucky to get mine together, but I was able to pick up this packet of six for $3.50 at Hobby Lobby. So that worked out really well. So we've got the base, we've got the, um, the um, excuse me, we've got the base, we've got the jar, and then we've got our lid. And then the other thing that you're going to want is a wooden ball. And that is going to be the top of our candy jar. Okay, so the other things that we're going to need for this project is um, we're going to need some paint. And I just went over to my stash and I had this. This is um, geranium red paint that I'm going to be using and wicker white um, paint that I'm going to be using. I am going to be using my glue gun that I've already got um, plugged in. I'm going to use some sponge brushes and I'm going to use some E6000 um, also. I like to use the E6000 in a combination with the um, um, uh, glue gun. And then, of course, you may want to decorate it a little bit. I just happened to pick up, I was up at um, Dollar Tree today, and I picked up some hearts. So I thought that might be really cute to put on it after we get it all done. And then, of course, you guys, the idea is this is a candy jar. So I picked up some candy to put in it. So that's about it that we need for this project. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing that I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go paint and I'm gonna paint my bottom red and my top red. Now you guys can do whatever you know um, um, design you want to do, um, but I just thought that that would be the best. And oh, I haven't used this paint in a while, so definitely need to shake it up a little bit, got it all oily. Okay, and so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this guy just a quick coat of paint. And on these terracotta parts, they do not take very long to dry at all. And you guys may decide that you wanna put um, two coats on yours. That is um, entirely up to you what you'd like to do. But make sure you give it a good coat. No reason to do the inside of the pot because we're not going to be seeing the inside of the pot at all. We are only going to be um, seeing this outside part. So I've seen so many of these um, pop up on Pinterest. I'm sure you guys are like me and you do lots of uh, searching and looking on Pinterest. And I've seen so many of them pop up that I just thought it would be a really cute Valentine's Day project um, to put together. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that bottom part also. I need a little bit more red paint here. Okay, so I got my that one painted. I'm gonna grab a little bit more red paint here. And I am gonna do my lid red too. Now I've seen lots of people do like a white lid. Um, on theirs. I'm actually going to use the white 
um, for the, the knob at the top of mine. So um, again, you guys use your imagination. There's so many different things that you can do um, with this one. And like I say, it dries really quick and I think I'm gonna get, be able to get away with just the one coat. Um, I did grab two size brushes because I wasn't sure what I would need, but I'm just using this small size brush and it is just going on great. Okay, so we've got that done. Now, um, since that needs to dry a little bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use that other paintbrush that I had and I'm just going to get the, my ball painted. Now again, you guys make your decision on what color you would like your um, yours to be but I just thought a white top to mine would be really cute. This brush is definitely an overkill. <laughs> a little bit big for this. Now these balls I used, and I'm gonna give you guys links to everything down below, but the balls I am using, these wooden balls, they are flat on one end. And I'll tell you guys, that makes it so nice um, to be able to use these as tops um, for these candy jars. So um, definitely want to look for a wooden ball that has a um, get paint all over my hands. That's okay though. But um, you want to make sure that it has got a flat bottom. So hopefully you guys can see that. No reason for me to have to paint that because it is going to be all covered up. But now I'm going to let that dry. Okay. And... <laughs> Got my fingerprints on there a little bit so you guys might have to play with that a little bit getting that one all done so okay so I'm gonna let these dry and I'll be right back with you okay so we're back so just so you guys have a good idea it took about 10 minutes for um, this to dry so it's it's got a nice little gloss finish to it but it is um, dry to the touch so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put together our candy jar now remember I told you I like using my um, glue gun and um, the E6000 together. Um, and the reason why I do that is the glue gun will give it a good adherence just quickly, but the E6000 will hold this together. So really key, I would not recommend doing one and not the other, okay? And so what we wanna do is I like to put it on the glass because we wanna make sure that it is um, it is on there okay so I'm going to use some of my glue gun and then I'm going to take my E6000 and I just like to buy this size of a jar of the e or a tube of the E6000 and I want to give it a good coat okay it says on the directions it's about 48 hours 24 to 48 hours for full adherence okay we're just going to push that down, okay, and you guys, I can see that I do not have enough on there because I have got a lip right here, okay, so I'm really going to give that another good coat, and I'm just going to go ahead and put it on here so I can see that I'm getting the lip covered. First time I've made this, you guys, so we're learning together. I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue on there. Okay. Try this again. Oh yeah, now it's going on. Now I can see that it is getting right on there. Okay, and you wanna get it centered Kind of have to look straight down at it, you guys, to make sure that you've got it centered. Okay. So we're going to set that guy off to the side. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing with my white ball. I'm going to put a little bit of glue from the glue gun. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put right in the middle. Haha, <laughs> I got glue gun string. I'm going to put right in the middle the E6000. Okay. ball right there okay so I got my ball on so 
Look at how cute that is already, you guys. Looks like a gumball machine um, already. So now, you guys, you can decide how you want to decorate it. Okay, so like I told you, I picked up these heart um, little um, stickers at the Dollar Tree. But while I was waiting for it to dry, I went over and checked my stash, and I've got some really cute heart ribbon in here. So I thought that might look really cute, just adding a little bit of heart ribbon around the back of it. So I'm going to play with it. We'll see what I come up with on this. And um, I think I want to add a few um, hearts. I love the glitter. Um, I think that just really adds um, to it. So I'm going to add some cute little red hearts. I just like red so much for Valentine's Day. Pink is great too, but I'm just going to go around and use these red ones because I think it just highlights the red paint that I gave it. And we'll see what it looks like, you guys. I hope you try this one. It's a really easy one. Fun if you've got kids to have a candy jar or even you guys think about it on the corner of your desk or you know in your kitchen or your countertop, you know, anywhere. So let's see. I want to see where I want. I think I'm going to put that ribbon down. I think I'm going to put that ribbon down at the bottom. I think that would just really add a cute base to my candy jar okay and then you guys I actually think that um, here grab some scissors so I actually think that might be what I'm gonna do with my candy jar because I think you guys once we add the candy in here um, it's gonna look really great Okay, so I'm just going to tack on a little bit of glue, and I'm going to put it on my ribbon first. I know that's kind of backwards, but I think it will be easier for me to lay it. I'm just putting a little bit of ribbon, excuse me, a little bit of glue right on the ribbon. And then that way, I'm putting that all around the bottom. Okay, you guys will see the back side of how I've got it. Got to add a little bit more ribbon, but I'm going to trim it so my ribbons will meet. Overlap just a tad bit. Okay, you add just a little bit more glue there. Now for this, you guys, I'm just using my glue gun. I'm not going to use the E6000 when I'm doing the ribbon. Okay, I just think that adds so much to it. I'm going to put my glue gun off to the side here. Now, didn't do a whole lot to decorate it, right you guys? But let me show you what I mean by adding the candy. Because I think once you start to add the candy, it decorates it for you. So I'm going to fill up my jar. I'm sure my husband will have these eaten very soon. <laughs> Loves his sweet. So how cute is that? I probably could have had a fourth bag. I just picked these up at the Dollar Tree. Um, but look at that, you guys. What do you think? I just love our little candy jar. And how quick and easy was that to put together, you guys? A terracotta pot, if you're lucky enough to get one with the base on it, all the better. A fish bowl, a wooden ball, a little bit of glue and some paint, and you have got a great candy jar. Now, I did this for Valentine's Day, you guys, but you can do this for any time of the year. It's just a great idea this time of year because it's Valentine's Day coming up. So, thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. I'll make sure I give you a great close-up view of this. And here's a close-up view of our cute little Valentine's Day candy jar. I hope you try out this project and fill it with lots of great candy.
Thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. Don't forget to check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com for other DIY projects.